Is there evidence of a coup? What is the Kraken? How was the CIA connected to voter fraud? And how did they just implicate themselves? Should Donald Trump declare martial law? All of this on today's update. General Michael Flynn just gave his very first interview after being pardoned by President Trump for crimes he did not commit. And not a single mainstream source even talked about it. That's not surprising, but an alternative news program called WVW-TV had him on. Some of the key highlights from that interview, well, General Michael Flynn believes that based on what Sidney Powell will be releasing, we will never see a day where Joe Biden is president. Take a listen. I do not believe I do not believe for a second that the country will accept Vice President Biden as the next president based on what we know to be probably the greatest fraud that our country has ever experienced in our history. Uh, as I just uh, described, we have clear, clear paths to victory for this president. And frankly, he's going to win Pennsylvania. He's going to win Arizona. He's going to win uh, Georgia. He's going to win Nevada. He's going to win uh, Michigan. And the other, the other one that he's probably going to pull in is Wisconsin too, because there, there's a uh, there's a discrepancy in Wisconsin of 130,000 fraudulent ballots that they just found, they just discovered. So there's a lot of things happening, and uh, and it's all to me, it's all positive. I was asked today on a scale of one to ten, who will be the next president. And I said, 10, it'll be Donald Trump. It'll be President Trump. There's no doubt in my mind. There's no doubt in my mind that he won this election hands down in a landslide, probably somewhere between 350, 400 uh, uh, electoral college votes. General Flynn then went on to describe just what happened on election night. Can you imagine what was going on in the minds of the deep state when Trump was ahead in all the key swing states? It had to have instilled such a fear into them that they, well, they overplayed their hand. Take a listen. What happened in a very strategic way is that the, the electronic vote did not achieve the result that they needed on the 3rd of November, on Tuesday, the 3rd of November. The electronic vote did not achieve the result that they needed to be able to get, get them over the top and get the votes that they needed because essentially... The, the system was not the, the, the systems were not set up in a way to get the vote count to where it needed to be. And all, at the same time, kind of hiding how they were doing it, mixing numbers and such and doing it in different ways in different uh, states. So when that happened, they then they realized, OK, we have to stop. We have to shut down. Unheard of, unprecedented. And then Vice President Biden goes to bed. And they shut down, you know, five states that night. Shut down, stopped. How, how does that, how do we ever allow that to happen? And then, of course, over the next couple of days, really from the 4th of November through the 7th of November, we start to see the mail-in ballot, uh, you know, the, the whole instance of mail-in ballot fraud. And it was that night, it was in that moment when the enemy exposed their hand. They saw on election night, it wasn't going the way they, they had planned. So what they do, they st- they just stopped counting, at least in America. And then what did they do? They turned on the servers overseas to manipulate the votes. And you might not even know what I'm talking about whenever I say the servers overseas. Now, while there are different uh, countries involved, and I'm, I'm speaking to Iran and, and China, I'm talking about in this moment, our own guys in Germany. And I think this is going to come out in the courts with Sidney Powell. And I'm going to explain that in just a section, uh, just a second. Uh, Actually, the host of the program even asked General Flynn about it. Here is that video. I don't know if you can speak to it or not. If you cannot, just say so. But I know that Sidney Powell has been speaking about a lot of information that will be coming out. Uh, She wants to get it into court, not into the to the media to try it, but into the court. But can you or can you not speak to any of the hard evidence related to the server in Germany? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't want to speak to that right now. Okay. I, I, you know, that's there's she's 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 uh, uh, you know mentioned it and and, uh, and she's actually has some really good filings. They just filed another amendment, I believe, in Georgia. The key takeaway there was that General Flynn he knew about it, but he didn't want to talk about it. And I understand that he doesn't want to step on Sidney Powell's toes. 
I also believe that he is feeding the information to Sidney Powell. I believe that he is much more connected to the military still today than than we know. I believe that he's actually involved with Kraken. Um, and, and he probably was even involved with how recently you probably saw that the U.S. Special Operation Forces just seized a Dominion voting server farm in Germany that is owned by the CIA. No, General Flynn, no, he couldn't go there. But retired three-star Lieutenant General Thomas McInerney, he can, and he did go there, and in a big way. Here is Lieutenant General talking about those very things. This is the most important clip of the day. Pay attention to this. Sydney got the term Kraken, because that's the nickname of the 305th Military Intelligence Battalion. And that has been her source, along with other sources that Mary and I know about, but we don't want to talk about. And so we're, we're getting the different sources that are relaying this. But the important thing is they identified, now get this, they identified China, Iran, and Russia as being involved in this and manipulating and manipulating the votes. In addition, the U.S. Army, the U.S. Special Forces Command seized a server farm in Frankfurt, Germany, because they were sending this data from those five states or six states through the Internet to Spain and then into Frankfurt, Germany. They were sending the data of the Dominion voting systems in 38 states, six in which were swing states, on election night through the internet to the CIA server farm in Frankfurt, Germany. If the CIA was meddling in the 2020 elections, the president knows it. The good guys are now in control of the servers they seized and they have the data those servers provided. General McInerney is confident that widespread voter fraud will be revealed upon the inspection of the Dominion server seized in Germany owned by the CIA. This is treason on the highest level. And, and notice one thing, notice how the CIA, the DOJ, and the FBI have all been totally silent about this from the beginning, even though the evidence of voter fraud has been so evident. The DOJ and the CIA at the very first sign of voter fraud should have went in and seized those machines, but they haven't made a move. Total silence. Why aren't they doing their jobs? They're involved. They are tied to this. Treason has been committed against this administration, this president and this country. And I believe that President Trump is fully aware. There are many saying that he could even temporarily suspend habeas corpus and try these people for treason. Will he declare martial law to do it? That's the big question. If he does, that would coincide with his 2018 executive order to protect our voting integrity. Does President Trump need to declare martial law so that the military will take over and seize these Dominion machines before they are erased? Time's running out. President Trump needs to know right now that every American patriot is behind him. Martial law needs to be declared. At some point between now and the Supreme Court, when discovery is allowed, the military can give Trump's legal team the information they have. But do we have enough time for this to play out? That is why Trump needs to declare martial law. Martial law, it would freeze everything and it would allow the military to seize the Dominion machines immediately. President Trump, he took office, he took, he took an oath of office to defend the Constitution of the United States, all enemies, foreign and domestic. People, I said several weeks ago, something about is about to go down so huge, so monumental, that it's gonna be talked about for the next 300 years if, if the Lord doesn't return by then. We are at that point. Thank you.